Welcome everybody, my name is Tim Sandy and I'm a Cohesity Senior Systems Engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can protect Microsoft Active Directory using our Cohesity Data Protect capabilities. I'll also show you how we can do a granular recovery of an Active Directory object. So just to give you some background, I am running a virtual edition of uh, Cohesity Appliance, and it is uh, one of our newer versions, 6.5.0a. This is what you're seeing right now. I, as you can see in the new 6.5.0a, we have this new dark mode that everybody seems to like, which is real popular right now. I also have an Active Directory domain controller. As you see here, I have have Active Directory users and computers up, and you can see I have highlighted test user 10 here. So I'm going to do a restore of this particular user account. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to delete that user right now. And going back to the Cohesity main interface here, I'm going to go to sources. And just to show you, I've already had the Active Directory server registered to the Cohesity Appliance as a source. So whenever we use our physical agent, so if we want to protect Active Directory, we do have to use our physical agent. And so what we would do is we connect to a physical server first. And as you can see here, I have my domain controllers. And then once you connect as a physical server, then what you would do is you'd go in here on these three dots, click here, and you would register it as Active Directory. Now, as you can see here, it says unregister because I've already registered it. But before you register it, it would say register Active Directory. So then you'd register Active Directory and that becomes a source. Now going under data protection and to protection, you are going to see that I have a uh, Active Directory policy here to protect Active Directory. So if we go into this here, um, we look at the settings, you can see here, show the domain controllers. Here's my domain controllers that I am protecting. You can see the schedule, uh, the backup schedule, all the different various settings and everything else. So you can see that I have a protection job. So I wanna go back to the protection job. Now I went ahead and I deleted that particular test user 10. I have a backup that I've already run, which has backed up that test user already. So I have that to restore from. So I don't need to rerun a protection job here because obviously that protection job would not have that user at this point. So let's go to recoveries and we're going to go to recoveries and we're going to hit the plus sign in the upper right hand corner here and we're going to recover from Active Directory. And here um, I can use just a wild card if I don't know what I'm searching for as far as Active Directory. I'm going to go ahead and say pull it from my domain controller 01. So as you can see here, I've already done a recovery already. So it pulled in my uh, administrative domain account and username. You do have to select a random port and usually I believe you have to be above like 50 or 52,000. So if you do 60,000, that's usually pretty safe. And then you, from your recovery point, you can obviously select uh, based upon what backup snapshots you have when you've taken those backups as to which time frame you want to restore from. I'm just going to do it from the latest one and I'm going to click continue. So this is going to run real quick here, and it's first it's going to create an instant mount, a volume mount, and then it's going to mount the Active Directory snapshot itself. So this is going to take a second uh, because this is a test environment. So I'm going to pause the recording. So as completed mounting Active, the Active Directory snapshot, now, what I can do here, as you can see on the left-hand side is your Active Directory structure, all the different objects within Active Directory. You can do a search specifically for that user, or if you know part of the name, you can just do this. So I have test user one, test user 10. So uh, in the dark mode here, it, uh, it shows it a little bit differently. But as you can see here, it gives you the this difference column. that says, hey, I'm seeing from the backup that I just mounted compared to what you have now, this is what I have missing. So as you can see, test user 10 is missing. So I can click on that. And then here's the information for it. And then I can simply click recover. You can force a uh, password change here. So you can uh, do that by doing the switch. I'm gonna say no, but I'm gonna go ahead and set the password. And then you could also do it in a disabled state if you choose. And I'm gonna click recover. So that's going to start recovering. 
So as you can see, the recovery has successfully completed. So once the Active Directory recovery of the user account is finished, and you can see that it says green recovered and you're done doing any recoveries, we then are gonna go ahead and click the done button. And at this time, it's asking you if you want to unmount that snapshot. Uh, you have your choices of stay, keep mounted and leave, or you can unmount and leave. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on unmount and leave. And so then it's going ahead and uh, disconnecting from that. I'm going back to recovery, and that's it. If I go back over to my domain controller here, Click on here, I'm gonna go ahead and click refresh. And as you see there, we now have test user 10. Now, just as a uh, side note here, um, what we're going to do is we are going to pull, if you have the Active Directory Recycling bin enabled, we are going to try to pull from there first. Uh, any of those objects, because if it's in the recycling bin, it will retain all the associated properties. Again, sometimes when you do Active directory object restores, if it has gone past the tombstone lifetime, uh, you can't recover some of the properties of it. So we're always going to try to pull, if you do have Active Directory recycling been enabled, we're going to try to pull from there first so that we can retain those associated properties as much as possible. If it's not available in the Active Directory recycling bin or it's not enabled, then you know, we're going to pull it back from there. So you may lose some properties when you do restore, but that's, that's standard for anything with Active Directory. Even if you're doing an authoritative restore on an Active Directory domain controller to recover something, this, the same uh, concept goes and um, it's all based on Active Directory. It has nothing to do with us on that part, but that just shows you how uh, very simple it is to connect to Active Directory to create a protection job. And uh, more importantly, I know I focus more so on the granular restore of an object. So this can be a user account, it can be a computer account, it can be uh, all various different objects within the Active Directory structure. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you, having a great day.